One Heart is an album by Canadian singer Celine Dion, released on March 24, 2003. It is her eighth English-language studio album and 30th overall. Content, the release of this album marked the beginning of a new day. Dion's five-year concert arrangement in the Colosseum at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. I Drove All Night was chosen as a lead-off single. The original cover version of this song was recorded by Cindy Lauper in 1989. A version by Roy Orbson, of whom the song was originally aimed, was aired in 1992. Dion's recording became a hit, reaching number one in Canada, Belgium and Sweden. Although Have You Ever Been In Love was already featured on Dion's previous album A New Day Has Come, it was released as the second single from One Heart in the United States and third in selected countries. The title track promoted the album as the second single outside the United States. There were also two radio releases at the end of 2003, Stand By Your Side, and Faith. A song called Reveal was written by Kathy Dennis who also wrote Toxic for Britney Spears and Can't Get You Out of My Head for Kelly Minogue among others. Sorry for Love was actually an original version of the song. The dance version was released a year earlier on A New Day Has Come. Already available on the A New Day Has Come 2002 Special Limited Edition, Coulda Woulda Shoulda was included also here. The last track on the album, called Je Tame Uncle was recorded also in French and included on car copyright line Dion's next album One Fell and Four Types. In the United States, I Drove All Night, Have You Ever Been In Love, One Heart, and Love Is All We Need were used from 2003 to 2004 in an advertising campaign for Daimler Chrysler and the CD's inlay cover had the Chrysler logo and slogan. In June 2004, a bonus DVD called One Year. One Heart was included on some editions of A New Day. Live in Las Vegas, containing the recording of I Drove All Night, and Have You Ever Been In Love, and the making of One Heart music video among other features. Reception. Equals critical response equals, the album received mainly mixed reviews from most music critics. All Music senior editor Stephen Thomas Aliween rated it two and a half stars out of possible five, writing that the collaboration with Tony Spears's producer Max Martin in three tracks was a sign of desperation that underscores every minute of one heart, where it seems like Dion will do anything to stay on the charts. Aliween also wrote that one heart favors a smooth Vegas showstopper Gloucester Radio Ready Sheen, which only accentuates the lack of cohesiveness here and that the album reveals all her weaknesses. Chuck Arnold of People wrote a mixed review towards the album's songs, calling it a bit jarring at times, and that Dion sounds so strangely subdued on some tracks, you keep waiting for her to really let rip. Either way, she wrote positively that there is a lightness to one heart that has been missing from much of Dion's previous work, as she leans more toward upbeat dance numbers, easy listening rock and even borderline country pop. Entertainment EA's Andrew Lynch was more negative, writing that the problem is, Dion's songwriters seem to have been under strict instructions to keep the material as bland as possible. And while her glass-shattering voice is as spectacular as ever, she still doesn't sound as if she believes a word of what she's singing. One Heart is certainly one of her better collections, but frankly, that isn't saying very much. The Guardian's Betty Clark wrote that Dion proves she can be more than a series of hollow if album shifting, sentiments. Daryl Sturden wrote a very negative review for Jam, saying that it's bad enough the 14 song CD is full of unoriginal, instantly forgettable fluff, leftover Bptony bubble pop from Max Martin, cliché chest pounding power ballads, a title cut that's a blatant shanier sound alike and a share style Euro disco revamp of the Roy Orbson hit I Drove All Night, which she's already turned into a Chrysler jingle. Instead of the mixed and negative reviews, a positive review came from Amazon's Rebecca Walwork, who praised Celine for an unrelenting theme of joy and believing in oneself, and highlighted the album for being both well-timed and well-executed. But she revealed that it contains no surprises, but then, besides her voice, that's one of Dion's biggest assets. In a more positive review, Entertainment Weekly's Elizabeth Vincentili questioned, why Celine gets so little respect. 
and later went to praise the album for Dion's uncanny ability to infuse sincerity into aural hallmark cards and sound like the only person on earth who believes in true love. In the end, she wrote, and in our age of postmodern ionists, isn't it refreshing to encounter someone who so genuinely loves her job? Slant magazine Sal Cinquemani praised the album as a whole, saying that she continues the restrained approach of her last record, both in production and performance. He finished the review, noting that One Heart may be the smartest album Dion could make at this stage in her career. Billboard praised the album by concluding, One Heart may not crackle with the noise of an event record, but it succeeds at something far more important, it is a fine piece of music. Equals chart performance equals, the IFPI revealed that One Heart was the tenth best-selling album around the world in 2003. It has sold 5 million copies worldwide. The album sold 431,657 copies in the United States during the first week, opening at number two. To date, One Heart shipped 2 million copies in the U.S. and was certified two times platinum by the RIAA. In Canada, one Heart shot to the top of the Canadian album's chart, selling 97,000 copies in its first week, making it the biggest debut of the year, according to data compiled by Nielsen Soundscan. It was certified 3x platinum. After selling over 1 million copies in Europe, One Heart was certified platinum by the IFPI. In France, it debuted at number one and remained two weeks at the top, and was certified platinum. The album reached also number one for two weeks in Belgium, Flanders and Denmark, and for one week in Switzerland and Greece. In the United Kingdom it has sold 204,075 copies, and was certified gold. In Australia, One Heart was certified platinum. Equals awards equals, in 2003, Dion won the American Music Award for Favorite Adult Contemporary Artist and was nominated for Favorite Pop Rock Female Artist. In 2004, she also won Dragon Award for International Female Artist of the Year and Have You Ever Been in Love won ASCAP London Award and BMI London Award for one of the most performed songs in the United States. Dion was also nominated for four Juno Awards of 2004, including, Artist of the Year, Album of the Year and Fan Choice Award. Nominations for other awards include, Billboard Music Award for Hot Adult Contemporary Artist, much More Music Award for I Drove All Night, and Far Copyright Licks Award for Artist of the Year Achieving the Most Success in a Language Other Than French. Track Listing Charts Certifications and Sales Release History See also, List of Number 1 Albums from the 2000s, List of Number 1 Albums of 2003, List of Number 1 Singles of 2003 References <laughs>